After the official visit that Queen Mary made together with King Frederick to Germany last week, her schedule seemed empty. Now we know why. A few days ago, we saw the Danish royals taking part in a meeting of Norwegian royals in Germany as part of their official trip to the country. Since then, King Frederick's schedule has been filled with events, but his wife's schedule remained empty. And now it has become clear why Mary of Denmark went on a holiday without Frederick, taking her daughter Josephine, and now we know where and with what plans. It is unknown whether she took advantage of some free days when there were no official engagements until next Monday in her schedule, or if she specifically cleared time for the trip, but the outcome was the same. The Queen of Denmark returned to her homeland, Australia, to spend a few days there. Since her last visit to her native country, which took place in December of last year, when photos of her husband with Genoveva Casanova were in the spotlight, there has been no information about visits to Australia. If she visited her family since then, it was not reported. One of the purposes of this trip may have been to see her family, judging by where she was seen and her modest appearance a cap and sunglasses helped her stay unnoticed. The British tabloid Daily Mail published photographs of Mary of Denmark along with her daughter Josephine on Sydney's beaches. Both were dressed in sportswear, strolling around the area, and they visited the largest outdoor sculpture exhibition in the world. The Australian royal was dressed in shorts and a long t-shirt, which she later took off due to the heat, remaining in a black tank top, showing off her athletic figure. The cap and sunglasses indicated her desire to blend in with the crowd, which, it seems, was not quite successful. The photographs clearly showed the warm and close relationship between mother and daughter. They hugged and laughed constantly. Mary looked as relaxed as possible, not only in her native country, where she loves to spend time with her family, but also far from the official engagements and work duties that typically occupy her days in Copenhagen. Daily Mail also noted the coincidence in timing with an event that shook the world a year ago when the current King Frederick, who was still the crown prince at that time, ended up on the cover of the magazine Luxuras strolling through Madrid with Genevieve Casanova. It was during these very days that a photographer caught them in Retiro Park, although the cover came out only on November 8th when King Philip and Queen Letizia were on an official visit to Denmark, which caused maximum interest. It is unclear whether Mary's trip to Australia aimed to avoid mentions of that past event, but her decision to leave at this specific time seems suspicious, especially considering that her schedule was cleared of engagements. Princess Josephine, the youngest daughter of Frederick and Mary, has in turn become the source of a new mystery that the Danish royal household is in no hurry to clarify. The Danish press is calling it a genuine mystery. This time it has nothing to do with last year's challenges involving Frederick, which brought the crown to the brink of crisis, forcing his mother, Queen Marguerite II, to abdicate in his favor also has no connection to the royal couple's costly preferences, which led to criticism after their recent visit. This time, the media's attention turned to Princess Josephine and her involvement in a theatrical production, which raised numerous questions among the citizens of Denmark. Princess Josephine, fourth in line to the throne, had been preparing for participation in a theatrical production at Adventure Theatre in Copenhagen. However, her name suddenly disappeared from the cast list. No one could understand why the youngest daughter of the Danish royals was no longer part of the show, an adaptation of the story of Pinocchio, whose premiere is to take place in the coming days. A theatre representative stated that there had been a mistake and that Princess Josephine was never part of the cast which only added more confusion to the situation. The royal household refused to comment on the matter, 
neither confirming nor denying the information. The Danish tabloid Extra Bladet claims that there is indeed a video recording showing Princess Josephine rehearsing on stage in May of last year and participating in pre-performance readings. Last year, the princess had already taken part in a theatrical production, Peter Pan in the same theater, using the stage name Josephine Sophia Ivalo one of her four names. In the new play, she was listed as Josephine Ivalo, but suddenly disappeared from the list of participants. The media and the public are actively discussing this mysterious move by the royal family, suggesting that there may have been some misunderstanding or a political decision. It remains unclear why Josephine's name disappeared from the cast list, even though she actively participated in rehearsals and prepared for the role. The silence of the royal household only fuels rumors and assumptions. Many are asking whether it could somehow be an attempt to divert attention from other issues, as happened during last year's situation when King Frederick found himself at the center of attention. You win, K. Went is a You weigh it in one. With. In any case, the story with Josephine and her theatrical debut adds a new twist to the Danish royal family saga, drawing attention and raising questions among ordinary citizens and fans of the monarchy.